Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat datang di channel Ahmad Contek. Untuk bisa cepat menguasai materi adalah meniru dengan mengembangkan gagasan dan berulang kali mempraktikannya. Singkat kata, kalau tidak bisa ya dicontek saja. This learning video will present material on the steps for installing PrestaShop in Laragon. Please note that this learning video was made based on search results on the internet. There are many cases of failure to install Laragon. Hopefully this video can at least provide a reference on how to install PrestaShop so that it doesn't fail. For that, let's watch the next video. Go to the directory where the downloaded file is stored. Extract the downloaded file. Now we have a new folder. Go into that folder. These three files are the PrestaShop installer files that will be used. Return to the previous view. Rename this folder according to the name of the business or e-commerce that will be built. I gave the folder name Creelicia according to the name of the e-commerce store project. Copy or move the folder into the www folder in the Laragon system. From the computer desktop, activate the Laragon system. Click the Start All button to activate the local server and MySQL database system. To install PrestaShop, we must first create a database. Run PHP May Admin. Fill in the username and leave the password blank. Then click the Login button. Now we have entered the MySQL database system. Create a database. Here I created a database with the name DMyShop. Click the Create button. Automatically the database has been created. Exit PropMyAdmin and go back to Laragon. Now do the PrestaShop installation. Move the pointer position in the center of the Laragon window. Right click and select the www menu. Now, the name of the web project that we are going to build, namely Corelicia, will appear. Pay attention, the Laragon installation process is in progress. At this point, an error occurred. We are told to rename the file index.php.temp to index.php, which is located in the project folder being created. Go back to Laragon and click the root button to open Windows Explorer. Go to the project folder that is being created, Kirelicia. Change the name of the index.php.temp file to index.php. Refresh from here. PrestaShop will guide you to do the installation. There are seven installation steps that must be done to arrive at this e-commerce web development project. The first step is to choose the language used. You can change to your preferred language. For example, you choose Indonesian. But I still use English for this installation process. Click the next button. In the second step, you are asked to learn and agree to the agreement for using this application. 
put a check mark on the I agree to the above and condition section. Click the next button. The third step in the system compatibility section, skip this section and go straight to the fourth step in the store information section. This is a form about e-commerce identity that must be filled in. Fill out this form completely. Click the next button. In the fifth step, the content of your store section, leave it as it is. In the sixth step, Laragon will configure the system, creating the necessary folders and tables in the database. Fill in the database server address with localhost. Fill in database, name with the name of the database that was previously created. Fill in database login with root ROOT. Leave blank for password. For the rest of the fields, leave it as it is. Check if the database is connected. If it is connected, click the next button. The store installation process is underway. At this point, the installation process to build e-commerce with PrestaShop CMS is complete. From this view, we can print the information for login. Printing results are needed if we forget the password. Return to the previous screen. On this screen, we are told that for security, we must delete the install folder in the current project. For that, we delete the install folder. The install folder has been deleted and we are back to the installation process. At this point, the PrestaShop system gives us two options as to whether to run the store in the back office mode or the front office module. Try running the application for back office by clicking the Manage Our Store button. There is a warning that you cannot run the back office application before renaming the admin folder in the project folder, Crelicia. Change the admin folder first. The folder name has been changed. Now, call the back office application by typing the URL localhost slash curilicia slash admin 219. The installation of PrestaShop on Laragon was successful. Thus, this learning video, hopefully it can help and be a reference for you. Thank you. Demikian video pembelajaran ini semoga dapat membantu Anda dan bisa dijadikan sebagai bahan referensi. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.